The latest BBC Sport update. Football needs a circuit breaker. That's according to West Brom's new boss, Sam Allardyce, after the Premier League's highest ever return of 18 COVID cases. Everton Manchester City was postponed this week. Tottenham Fulham tonight is in doubt. Here's our reporter, Simon Stone. I think at the moment, the Premier League believe that this is manageable, that the clubs have big enough squads to be able to deal with it. And in extremis, games will be postponed. But clearly, if we get more and more positive cases, then clearly you've got to ask the question. Yeah, Sam Allardyce is uh, 66 years young. He wears a mask on the touchline. His West Brom lost 5-0 to Leeds at the Hawthorns last night and it couldn't have started much worse. Oh, that's an awkward moment. Goodness me! Romain Sawyers has put the ball into his own net. The blind back pass. Yeah, he did a no-look pass from 25 yards out and it ended up in the back of the net. One win all season for West Brom. They're five points from safety, second bottom. Manchester United are second top. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's side uh, beat Wolves last night. He has questioned, though, that if they did do a circuit breaker, as Sam Allardyce says, when would they fit in the games if there was a pause in the season? So second in the table, but they needed a late, late winner deflected from Marcus Rashford. The year has been positive in terms of results. I think also performances have improved. We physically and mentally are more ready to move up the table. Today I'm happy, of course. A bit lucky, a bit fluky, but that's, uh, that's what you do when you put teams under pressure. Yeah, so two points behind. They've played the same number of games as Liverpool, who uh, are in action tonight. Arsenal have recorded back-to-back Premier League wins for the first time since September. They beat Brighton 1-0. Alex Lacazette scored just seconds after coming off the bench. It lifts Mikel Arteta's gunners to 13th. The best medicine is to win football matches. We've done it uh, with two in a row in a really different way because um, there are two very different opponents. But um, I think we did it today in a convincing way. Yeah, Sheffield United. Sheffield United look unconvincing. 11 points adrift at the bottom, still without a win all season. They lost 1-0 at Burnley. Manager Chris Wilder says a couple of his players and half a dozen backroom staff had COVID. The Premier League will do the best and and we'll do our best as a football club to keep going. You know, nobody's looking for an exit. Nobody's looking for the season to be canned. But I think all the numbers are are, are suggesting it's at its peak or or it's getting worse. And so uh, teams will be affected. Yeah, Burnley are five points clear of trouble after that win last night. Also last night, Southampton were affected. Their manager, Ralph Hasenhuttl, was an absentee because of the virus. They drew nil-nil with West Ham. Seven of the 12 League One games were postponed because of the virus. Uh, From League One, Jake Buxton is leaving Burton. They lost 4-3 to Wigan. But in the Championship, the leaders Norwich dropped points in a 1-1 draw with QPR. Sheffield Wednesday, without a manager after sacking Tony Pulis, they actually beat Middlesbrough. 2-1. 2-1. All the results are on the BBC Sport website and the app. And you can also read about Barcelona's continuing struggles. Last night, they drew uh, with Ibar, who are down the bottom of La Liga. New Zealand beat Pakistan by 101 runs in their first test match. That was in Taranga. And the world number one, Michael Van Gogh, survived two match darts against Joe Cullen to reach the quarterfinals at the PDC World Championship. James Wade hit a perfect nine darter, only the 10th in World Championship history, but he still lost to Stephen Bunting. BBC Sport.